Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World. And for today's vlog, I am going to be doing a segment on Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's been October and Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I got on my purple. Do -do -do. Got you see? Got on some makeup for you guys today. Sometimes I wear makeup, sometimes I don't. Hey, uh, also, you know, what else? Got yeah, my hair dyed. I don't know if you guys can see that as well. I love purple. But I got it marking the purple today for domestic violence awareness. Um, but yeah, getting right into it. I want to, well, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who has put in their order for my new book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Please remember it's on sale now at my website. You can go and get your copy now at differenceworld.net. Um, so again, once this video ends, you like, share, comment. And subscribe you head on over to my website and you get your own copy of what if a controversial paradigm shift and remember it's for grown folks only so if you can't take that type of heat then don't bother coming to this kitchen okay now with that being said we will move on to the segment of uh, for domestic violence awareness month I'm gonna title this uh, vlog um, keep your hands to yourself um, with that being said because you know uh, um, and right off the bat, let me just go ahead and disclose, I am not a dating expert or relationship expert, no therapist or anything like that. I'm just a regular person in the world sharing, you know, my life experience with everybody out there that's willing to listen and that wants to hear. And this is just what I have to say. And this is what we do here at Third Eye Entertainment and in Difference World. We bring social, we strive to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which it educates, inspires, and motivates, and as well as talking about taboo issues like these that are often swept under the rug or, you know, people don't like to talk about it, turn the blind eye to. One thing I can say um, with over time, within the past 10 years, I'm, I'm happy to see, you know, a lot of more companies and more people that have huge platforms take the initiative to acknowledge that, you know, domestic violence abuse is, is unacceptable and um, needs to be, you know, taken care of and, and talked about, if you will. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, 10 years ago, women didn't have, you know, a voice. You know, there was no Me Too movement. And so, you know, coming to work with a black guy for a woman, you know, that was a normal thing, if you will. But now in today's society, you know, I'm happy to see a lot of more people taking a stand against, it, especially, you know, the men, if you will. Um, and so, uh, also with that going into it, let's get you guys in with some facts. Cause again, this is all about educating and inspiring and motivate you. So let me start you off with some facts that I found, um, from the American civil liberal union, uh, in 2021 or the ACLU, if you will, um, let me put my glasses on cause I can't see right now. I'm blind. So there's a bug. Ooh -cha. Ooh -cha. There we go. All right. <laughs> Let me give you guys some facts right here. So, according to the ACLU in 2021, they found that one in four women have experienced either sexually violent or, excuse me, physical or verbal abuse in their their, their, their relationships. They are currently in being it teenage wise, same sex, or man and woman relationship. One in nine men are faced with physical abuse, verbal abuse, or even sexual abuse. In their relationship be it as well as in a teenage stage or a male and female or same sex uh, 35 percent of black women make up for domestic violence survivors in the u.s <clears throat> it's a, a stat that if you are or high chance excuse me that if you grew up in a low level income you have experienced or have witnessed or uh, are dealing with uh, domestic violence right now I, for one, can say uh, coming up in that type of environment, I have dealt with domestic violence abuse in my family and witnessing that coming up. Um, thankfully, I won't say I'm happy that I came up in that type of environment, but I, I was lucky to, I guess, witness that early on to understand that that's not something I want coming up. So luckily, I've never been in a relationship that's, you know, ever been violent or sexually abusive, uh, you know, early on recognizing those signs and understanding that's not the type of relationship I want. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. And that's a very true uh, fact. Uh, me coming up from a low level uh, income family, I definitely experienced uh, domestic violence in my, my family and in my childhood. Um, also, if you're a part of the LGBT community, 
uh, you're more than likely, twice more than likely actually to experience the verbal abuse, physical abuse, as well as sexual abuse in your relationships. Also, 45% of domestic violence survivors are either sexually, verbally, or physically abused by somebody they know or have known for a very long time. Okay, so those are quick facts for uh, domestic violence uh, within the U.S., and that's from the ACLU, American Civil Liberal Union, uh, 2021. So you can go to their website and get more uh, resources if you'd like. Um, but yeah, uh, just going into that, that segment where it said low-level income, um, families are, are more equipped to experience domestic violence relationship. Um, digging into that, I will say this, as a child, uh, I, I, I've witnessed worse, firsthand um, a man putting his hand on a woman and, and, and vice versa, a woman putting her hands on a man. And, and again, this is why I titled this blog, or this vlog, if you will, Keep Your Hands to Yourself. Uh, because I've seen it on both sides where, you know, women put their hands on men and men put their hands on women. And, and as a woman, I will tell other women out there who, who like to put their hands on men, y'all need to keep your hands to yourself. Because if you have ever felt the hands of a man, if you haven't, let me tell you, them hoes hurt. <laughs> okay? So keep your hands to yourself, you know. As a man, he, as a, as a human being, that man has a right to defend himself. However, a real man, he wouldn't exercise that right. He would exercise the right to walk away, if you will. But I can't tell nobody how to live their lives. You got to, you know, make that decision for yourself. But as a woman, I would hope that, you know, as a man, you would have the, the strength, even though that there may be a woman out there that's trying you and testing you, pushing your button. Please understand that, you know, there's a high possibility. I've seen this, this firsthand plenty of times, you know, where, you know, the woman is being the aggressor. And she's putting her hands on her man and, you know, constantly and provoking him. And he finally retaliates. And all of a sudden, it's the flip, the script is flipped. And he's the aggressor now. And, all, and he's on his way to jail. And <laughs> she's the victim. And so men, you know, if you're in that relationship that, you know, you're dealing with a violent woman, a woman that likes to get physical a lot and verbally uh, abusive, you know, understand that you don't have to stay in that relationship. You can walk away. But if you choose to stay in that relationship, that's your choice. You you want to work that out. That's your business. But understand what you get into and understand and recognize the signs firsthand, how to, you know, stop it before it starts or how to flip the script and, and beat that person at their own game, if you will. If they're trying to provoke you and push your button and trying to get you in the place that you don't want to be, you need to recognize that early on. And so if you're dealing with that woman that can't keep her hands to herself and she's starting to put her hands on you, trying to provoke you and push you, I pray and hope that you can recognize that and, and muster up the strength to walk away. Now, again, I, I agree. I concur with people out there who say everybody has a right to defend themselves. That's very true. So if a woman's putting her hands on you and she physically is, is, is making it obvious that she's trying to hurt you by physically harming you, then um, I'm not going to say do what you got to do. But, you know, hey, that's, that's on you to, to decide. Um, as far as the women, you know, goes that are in a domestic violence or a domestic abusive relationship right now, Please hear me and understand and know that you do not have to stay in that relationship. If you are willing, if you want to, if you're tired, if you're ready, you can come out of that situation where there's a will, there's a way. A lot of the times, women, we get stuck in that mentality or, or in that situation or in that living lifestyle to where we have no place to go. But understand it's a new age, 2021, you know, it's not the old ways anymore. We, we have hope, we have resources, we have places that we can go you know, we have friends and families that we can talk to. Um, please understand, unless that person, you know, is physically threatening to end your life or, you know, got a gun to your head, you don't have to stay in that relationship. And if they are, if you, I pray to God that, you know, you're not, but somehow it's, that's just how it is. If you're in that relationship and if you're in that situation to where somebody's threatening your life, understand, I, I understand that you, if you up and leave right now, that might be a danger to you, but please consider making a, in a plan of action to create an exit strategy to get away from that person and get out of that situation and to never return. Get with your local authorities, go seek legal help, get with the family, a friend, you know, little by little, start moving your stuff out or, or if 
you have to just do it all in one while when he's gone to work one day he comes home with the empty house and you moved all your stuff you changed your phone you blocked them on everything if that's what you have to do then do it um and then get that restraining order as well um uh, I, I want to for a second for those who who are not able who are not here to hear this message who are no longer here with us due to domestic abuse um i want to take a moment of silence for them and so if you are watching this video, please bow your heads for me for a minute. And let's take a moment of silence for the, the people that are no longer here due to domestic violence, as either with children or women, or even men, if you will. There, there have been some men out there who have lost their lives to domestic violence abuse. And so if you can, please, you know, just bow your heads and we'll just have a moment of silence for them. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we just had our moment of silence for those who are no longer here with us due to domestic violence. And so um, just coming from that, may they rest in peace and never be forgotten. Um, again, for those who are in that type of situation, again, be it man, woman, black, white, gay, straight, it does not matter. You know, it's not okay for somebody to put their hands on you, especially if somebody is claiming that they love you. It's not okay. You are worth more than that and you deserve better than that. And so if you are in that relationship, get out of it. Um, I understand some situations are very dangerous and you can't just up and leave. However, you know, again, where there's a will, there's a way. So um, make a plan of action to, to get an exit strategy, strategy to get away from that person. Um, also, I want to give you guys some some resources for those who out there who are in this situation or even people who out there are just listening to it and just want to share with those who they know. Um, you can call the hotline um, at 1-800-799-7233. Uh, excuse me, that's the uh, Domestic Violence <laughs> Abuse Hotline. I should have named that before. As well as in case of an emergency, if you, you know, an immediate danger, please call 911. That's always a given. Um, for any online resources, if you guys um, also, you can contact your local uh, authorities as well as uh, look up online for in your local area. But um, in um, a universal sense, you can go to the hotline.org as well as, I do apologize, I didn't write the name of this one down, but the website is ncadv.org forward slash 2021 DVAM. So that's the Domestic Violence uh, Abuse Month Prevention online place i went to to do some research i'm sorry i don't have it like i said difference world this is what you see is what you get so you know hey come and learn also go to the helpguide.org they provide online resources uh, for those who are dealing with domestic abuse in their relationships uh, so you can check those out as well um what else yeah so i don't want to keep you guys too much longer Please, again, understand anybody out there listening and that's watching this and that's in that type of situation, or even if you're not in that situation, you can still use this uh, vital, you know, info. Um, keep your damn hands to yourself. Again, for anybody out there, you know, who 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 has felt the wrath of, as a woman, if you, you've been hit before, then you understand you, you them, them, them licks hurt. And so <laughs> uh, fighting with the opposite said, as a woman, you know, you, you're not going to be able to overpower a man. That's just the physical loss of it. However, you can try, but, you know, that that's a, you know, a long shot, if you will. So keep your hands to yourself and just get, get you know, get the police involved. Don't don't put your hands on them back because you can, it's a possibility that they can really hurt you. Um, and again, that's nothing to be ashamed about and, and upset about or embarrassed about. If you're in that situation, don't be afraid to tell somebody and get help. You know, it's okay. I, I've, I'm, I'm grateful I've never been in that situation. That's, and that's only because of what I grew up in and what I've seen. You know, my mom and my dad, I've seen that firsthand. Just like, you know, other people out there, I'm, I'm no different. Um, but what it was for me is in seeing, you know, my father and him being that type of man. A lot of the time, you know, the kids, they think that, you know, that's normal, that's okay. But I knew that it wasn't. And so for me, what I said to myself was, 
I'm not going to go after a man that's like this. And so, although my dad, he wasn't a, a, the perfect man, um, I, I still love him, you know, no matter what, I forgive him no matter what. However, you know, what he taught me was everything, what I don't want in a man and what not to go after. And so, again, even though I didn't, I'm not in the, that type of relationship I've never been and I never will be, that's because of my upbringing and what I learned from my upbringing and how to recognize the signs and not to get in that relationship. And if I ever were to get involved in a relationship, I hope and pray that at that time I have the strength and willpower to get up and leave. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and close this out. Oh, before I do <laughs> again, um, don't forget my book. What if a controversial paradigm shift is on sale now at my website, go to differenceworld.net again, as well as anybody out there that's watching this video. If you guys uh, want me to attend any type of book clubs, book fairs, I do do motivational speaking. Um, if you guys want me as a keynote speaker, just go to my website and book me. I'm free of charge. Um, so hit me up there, differenceworld.net. Make sure you get your book, uh, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, remember this book was written to encourage and uh, inform constant thought-provoking conversations about systemic racism in America. It's done through graphic but provocative illustrations. Uh, and it's detailing controversial deaths and events that have occurred in America within the African-American community. So again, please be advised that this is a grown folks only type of book. Again, so if you can't take this type of heat, then don't bother coming to this kitchen. Um, that being said, everybody out there listening, don't forget to manifest, plan, and prepare for whatever it is that you want in life, and it will surely come to you. Other than that, difference well. Come and learn. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different, Illustrations by Anastasia Arnold, coming August 2021. Go to differenceworld.net.